All right, so I did a little experiment. Um, never done this before, but I decided to dry incubate some eggs. And so um, you can maybe hear the incubator. You might be hear, hearing a little um, peeping from some of the chicks in here that have hatched out. But last time I hatched out a round of chicken eggs, I followed the Nature Right 360 instructions. I filled it with water, maintained humidity levels, and then um, I also jacked up and put jacked up the humidity levels by putting water in the B section when it was locked down and you know we had a high humidity percentage with all the water and stuff in there. Problem is that after a while the incubator just starts to stink terribly and so a lot of people say oh it shouldn't smell like well when there's water in there and humidity and these chicks are hatching and then someone can go to the bathroom and just egg gunk is falling through the grate into the water it just doesn't smell good and it's a super pain to try to carry around not spill and clean out and so i was looking up some information about dry incubation and i decided i want to try to incubate some quail and fill the rest in with chicks um regular chicken eggs and so dry incubation for quail is actually recommended and so i figured okay why not let's just give it a try now I know there is some reservation about raising chickens and quail together. There's, you know, possibility of diseases spreading between each other, but um, I'm gonna see what happens. This is just an experiment. And so um, that's kind of what we're doing. So let me show you what we have so far. All right, so here we are. We got some quail that have hatched out. You can see I have the chicken eggs in there. Um, I try to get mostly some type of mix of Americana or olive egg or whatever you want to call them now they're such a barnyard mix but just the not regular brown eggs um, there's some green eggs in there and some blue ones but I have about four quail hatched out um, at least it was actually it looks like one just might have hatched back there maybe he's number five no he's been out for a while I thought he was more wet I thought I saw one just hatch either way uh, we have four or five in there and uh, I'm not sure how many quail eggs are in there. You know, there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, there might be about 20 in there, almost. Um, I'm not having super high hopes of a great hatch rate because I've pulled from some older eggs that have been sitting, um, and you know, I, I just didn't know what what, what I was going to be getting. Um, but you know, five so far, four or five so far is good. Um, I'm happy with that. But they're just so small. And they're just the cutest little things. And I know my video that I've done on incubating quail in the Nurture Right 360 has done very well on the channel. Um, and so I might do another one as a follow-up. Obviously, I'm doing this one. But this is more about dry incubation and just to see how this experiment goes. Um, right now, there's, like I said, no water in there since it's dry incubation. Um, and right now, our, our humidity is sitting at about 32%. Now I did open this vent a little bit. There is a back vent here somewhere. There's a hole right here to let fresh air in. Um, and then you're supposed to open this also so they get ventilation. And so this was closed. I opened it up so they can get a little bit more ventilation. Um, if it really drops, I'll close it a little bit more. But I think I should be okay because once these chicks start hatching, the humidity tends to go up um, somewhat fast. Uh, I've had chicks hatch in here before where I had the humidity set to like 60%. And once they all start hatching, it's like 80% humidity in there. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But they're doing good so far. Um, they're tired. And uh, so we'll let them keep hatching out. We'll see how many we get. And uh, we'll check back uh, either tomorrow or later tonight. And we'll see what our progress is. It's so crazy that this little chick came out of that tiny little egg. Oh my gosh, they're so stinking cute. All right, so we got the quail out of the incubator and into this brooder. I don't know why I put them in this makeshift cardboard brooder when I have a plastic tote one I've made before. I don't, I honestly don't know what I was thinking. I was guess that maybe thinking that I'm gonna have more chicks and I didn't know if I was gonna mix them together or not. But this will work um, temporary, temporary for them for a little bit because um, basically I didn't want to put them just loose in this area where I brewed but basically I wanted to just keep them confined to this area that way they can you know figure out what food is figure out where the water is um, so they're doing pretty good they were pretty cold but now you know they're starting to venture out the fact that they're out here 
um, eating and getting drinks um, is a good sign. And so there's 15 total. We lift this up. You can see they're all kind of cuddled underneath there. Um, oh my gosh, you're so stinking cute. Uh, Got to be careful not to crush them. Um, so I have this back brooder plate on as a heater, just kind of heat the area. And then I have this one on as a brooder. Um, but this is how big they are. I mean, does it get any cuter than that? I mean, maybe button quail, which I've never had. Um, but it's crazy how small these things are. I only have, I think, maybe four or five quail eggs that didn't hatch. And so, so far, the dry hatching, I would say, has been a success. And so I'm going to wrap this video up about dry incubating quail. And I... If only incubated quail one or two other times, one time for sure, maybe twice, but definitely once. And I had a pretty good hatch rate, but uh, this was dry incubating the whole way through 100%. I didn't add any water at lockdown, any water at all, and the humidity stayed around 30%. Um, if your humidity goes below 15%, you probably should add water because it's really going to dry out your eggs. Um, but if the humidity was always above like 28%, um, percent, usually right around 30%. Um, and then during um, hatching, it kind of bumps up to like 45 or so as the chicks were hatching out. But uh, yeah, I'm going to probably try dry hatching again. The incubator, incubator doesn't smell at all. Um, before with wet hatching or regular incubation, uh, it was just really wet and just stinky and just absolutely just a mess. Um, so uh, looking forward to see how the chickens do. They're still incubating. Um, and then I'll probably touch on the chickens um, just when I talk about incubating and brooding them together. But for this video, I just want to talk about hatching out quail, dry incubating them in the Nurture Right 360. It's worked great for me so far. Good results. Um, pretty good hatch rate. I'll put it in the um, video what my actual hatch rate is because I still have a couple more up in the incubator that might be a day or so late. We'll see. Um, but that's going to be it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe for more videos from us. Social links are all in the description below, and we'll see you all in the next video.